Welcome back to Good Morning Vale. I have been joined by Garrett Kincaid, The Pursuit of Purpose, Meditations on Life Lessons. Garrett, thank you so much for being here. Thanks for having Glad me, Rick. Glad to have you here. Tell me about, you, you've been coming to this area for a little while. Tell me about that. Yeah, well, I grew up skiing in Beaver Creek and uh, got the chance to do some turns yesterday in the afternoon, which is, which is nice after flying in from Kansas City. Okay. Um, I've never seen Rose Bowl with that much snow, so nice. <laughs> it was nice to be in there. Good, good. And where are you now? You're from Kansas City. You skied Beaver Creek all your life. Where are you now? From Kansas City, and I'm going to school at Stevens Institute of Technology. It's up in Hoboken, New Jersey. Okay. So I'm studying quantitative finance there, and uh, now I'm, mi I'm minoring in philosophy. And that was kind of a pivot after writing the book. I wanted to bring that into my um, coursework, too. How did you get up there? Before we jump to the book, we're going to get to that in just again. How did you get up there? How did you go to New Jersey? Well, yeah, I found Stevens through a tennis showcase, so I'm playing on the tennis team there. I met the coaches about, um, you know, a year or two before going there. Kind of stayed at the top of my list because of how I combine academics and athletics. Nice. I like it. Let's jump into the book, The Pursuit yeah. of Purpose, Meditations on Life Lessons. Tell me how this started. Where did, where did you get the idea? Well, it really started in high school. I started recording my thoughts um, in the form of lessons on a note on my phone. So I really didn't have the thought of a book in mind, but as I accumulated those lessons, I wanted to you know, expand on them and write more about it. So the body of the book is me explaining each of the lessons. Each one is kind of standalone, um, but they're grouped into chapters such as mindset, confidence, character, interactions, relationships, and ambitions. Are these subconscious that came to you or are these conscious thoughts and programs and lessons? How does that work? I guess they're more conscious thoughts that I, you know, took some time to think about and formulate, but it was just over the course of time, I, whenever they came to mind, I made sure to write them down. And you said you're writing this down on the phone, so you're literally just typing into your phone yeah. everything that came to mind and just pulling it together. Right. And then Very it was cool. um, pulled together in a new way when I started writing the book. And did you have this idea strictly on your own? Did a professor or teacher kind of lead you into it? How did... It was really it was really on my own. I'm not really sure where it came from, but um, you know, I had this desire to record my thoughts and then expand on them later. But Interesting. I it's love it's it. been a very enriching experience. Absolutely. Really changed me, so. Are you going again? Will you write more lessons? There's always lessons to learn. Right. Yeah. No, I'm planning, I'm planning to write some more. I don't know when. Maybe a second book before I graduate college. Okay. That would be the goal right now. Tell me about where we can meet you. We've got a book signing coming up. Tell me about that. Yeah. Later today, Bookworm Edwards um, is three to five. So meet, meet and greet and a book signing. I like it. Sounds yeah. good. And, and Bookworm is a very intimate setting. You'll get to be one-on-one -on -one like we are right now, except for all the people that come. So you won't yeah. be one-on-one. -on -one. You can also buy it on Amazon. You tell me if we, if we run out of the Bookworm, something like that. Right. Tell me just maybe one of your most important or most intriguing lessons in the book. Is there one that really stands out? So I guess um, the first lesson in the interactions chapter is always allow for the benefit of the doubt. It was actually the first lesson I recorded and I note on my phone. Um, and it, you know, uh, speaks a lot to my my philosophy, and that you know you gotta see things from other people's perspectives while also making sure you understand your own. I like it. Sounds great. Yeah. Thanks for being here. I appreciate it. Thank you, Rick. Garrett Kincaid. Going to be at the Bookworm today, three to five. The the Pursuit of Purpose: Meditations on Life Lessons, and uh, you get to meet this gentleman and learn a little bit about these lessons that he you know he put them together as lessons, put them in a book for you. Today, 3 to 5 at the Bookworm. We'll be right back with more Good Morning Vale.